My name is Ann Balduzzi and I'm the founder and CMO of SameGrain. Uh, SameGrain is a privacy first social discovery platform that enables anyone anywhere to privately connect with other people that share multiple in-depth areas in common. The name Same Grain uh, actually came to me because I had been mentoring other startups for many years and I fell in love with the name of one of Mark Andreessen's early companies and it was called Loud Cloud. It was a very beautifully marketed um, company and uh, just loved the name. And so when I decided that when I came up with you know this idea and I knew it needed a name, I kept toying or looking for that sort of alliteration, you know, finding a name that really just rolled off the tongue. And at the time, I was on the phone with my father, who uh, does a lot of woodworking, and he was talking about grains of wood. And I thought, oh, that's it, same grain. Because I thought, just like the grains in wood, and just like the grains even in your fingerprint, uh, we all have, you know, we're very unique, but we all have common threads. And those common threads are the areas that we actually match on. I came up with the idea sort of back in the flip phone era. But because I was lucky enough in my background to have worked for you know, since the birth of the internet, I had a front row seat. So I've sort of been following, you know, the growth of the internet for many, many years. And I noticed that there was sort of a hole in the internet. And that was, there was a lot of matching going on, but it was mostly geared around dating and flirting sites. And there wasn't really an opportunity for people to match beyond that. And so recognizing that hole, I realized that there, you know, that was an area that we could actually tap into. And that's when I came up with the idea for Same Grain. I actually sort of leaked the idea out on a, on a blog post and I later found it, uh, it was republished in the Harvard Business Review. So I thought, okay, this is something I better get started on right away. And that sort of was uh, the, the fire that I needed to get things rolling. The same grain at its core is a very, very big idea. Um, not a lot of people can understand the breadth and depth that it'll actually, or the potential impact that it can actually have on society in general. But imagine in the future being able to walk into a room and immediately know what you have in common with the people in the room. Or imagine being able to, um, you know, move to a new city and immediately have connections with people that have multiple in-depth areas in common with you. You could also be in a position where you're meeting somebody for the first time and you can know how to fast track the conversations to the topics that you have in common. Um, and then you can, you know, at some point in the future when you're, you know, maybe you're holding your mobile phone up or some device up to a, a location or an area and know whether that's a good fit for you. You can also be reading reviews down the road that and only read reviews from people who share your same tastes or you know, health habits or whatever it might be so that you're ensured that your understanding of what a clean hotel room is is the same as somebody else's understanding of a clean hotel room or your understanding of, you know, a top foodie restaurant is the same as someone else's as well. And that's one of the key emphasis or key areas of Same Grain is it connects you to people that you were meant to meet. So we uh, currently have a, a series of platform partners. Uh, one of them is the National Society of Collegiate Scholars. Uh, they're a one million member organization primarily made up of college students, um, but they also have many, many alumni. And so they're using our network to basically connect the current students that they have. And those students, by connecting through our app, the platform partners not only are piggybacking our proprietary matching algorithm, but they're also personalizing the algorithm for their own purposes. So they're using it to better connect students for roommates uh, that are looking for other high achieving students, uh, students that have the same majors, um, students that are interested perhaps in traveling abroad, and also to learn more about uh, what types of programs they may want to have at their conferences to further educate their own uh, members. They also have alumni and they're looking to also connect the students with their alumni members as well. Platform partners um, not only have the ability to personalize questions for their own audiences, but we're able to give them back anonymized data about their audience. So we, in the case of a university, we can tell them, hey, 14% of your incoming class are vegans, you might want to switch up your cafeteria menu. In the case of a hotel chain, we may say a lot of your you know, guests like to ride bikes, so you may want to you know, have a ride, bike ride share program as part of you know, your hotel stay or amenities. Um, and so lots of other things can happen when you deal with those types of uh, personalization within those markets. People are beginning to refer to us as the Google of matching, so that sort of helps you know, give us a little bit of a framework from which to work off of.